Hello everybody, this is Shane Armand Rowe, and today we are going to teach you the basics of survival in the forest. End Night's game from 2016, which is experiencing a resurgence of play thanks to the release of the Steam Deck, of which this game plays amazing. Now, we're not going to be playing on Steam Deck today, but we are going to be using a controller, and I'll be talking a lot about the Steam Deck while we play. Uh, so, some people who have just gotten introduced to the forest feel that maybe they're not giving enough clues on how to survive, maybe not giving enough tips or tricks. So, hopefully, this ultimate beginner's video will help you understand the uh, primary things you need to get done early on in the game and uh, how to do it. So let's just go ahead and get started, shall we? So um, The Forest is a uh, both a horror and survival game. Uh, it is also a full-blown story. So there is something to do at the end. This is not a horde mode uh, shooter. This is not a wave-based game. Um, your goal is to actually do something and we'll talk more about that in a minute um, but along the way of course you will encounter the hostile natives of your location and we're going to help you better set yourself up to uh, fight them off okay so we're going to go ahead and play on normal there's of course hard and mode and there's a peaceful mode and I, I recommend not playing the peaceful mode there's a lot about what makes the forest the forest which if you take all the enemies out of the equation it's no longer the forest anymore. So uh, <clears throat> I understand if, you know, these guys are scary. I mean, listen, it's a scary game. This is a horror game after all. But um, there is definitely, uh, there's a piece of the game which depends on bad guys. And you're going to understand a lot more by the time we're done here. So let's go ahead and start a normal game. So the forest does have an end game. There is something you're supposed to do. Now, if you played the forest in early access, you may not have ever had the opportunity to finish the game because there was no ending. So uh, it's important to realize that things have changed a lot since early access. So if you were an early adopter of this game on the PC, you decided to dust it off to play on the deck. Now that you've got a Steam Deck, you're probably going to see a whole lot of differences um, with regards to what the game was when you played it last. So here we are on the plane at the beginning. This is sort of the intro. Um, you're going to grab this book here. Obviously, it's the only thing you can do, really. And this is a guide to survival that you are giving to your son for him to hopefully learn from. So I'm going to go ahead and play this intro instead of skipping it. Uh, give me an opportunity to talk a little bit more. So there are three main things that you're going to be doing with regards to the forest. One is you're going to need to find food, water, and shelter, right? Typical of any survival type scenario. You're going to need weapons and armor to protect yourself. And finally, you're going to need to explore. And you're going to need some tools to help you do that. Uh, of course, you can do some of it on your own. And in fact, we will be doing those exact uh, exploring uh, functions here at the beginning of the game. So the plane is apparently crashed. And you are, like every good survival game, near death. And uh, your kid just got picked up from the middle of the plane. The uh, Some sort of nasty bad guy just hauled him off. And this is where our game starts. You start off starving, thirsty, weak, no stamina. It's pretty much, you know, worst possible scenario. You're covered in blood. You know, listen, it doesn't really get much worse than this. Your kid's gone, your plane's crashed, and you have no idea where you're at. So let's take a look first off at the heads-up display here, what we have available to us. If you look in the um, bottom left, which my gruesome head is covering right now, I guess I should, uh, let me see if I can move that around a little bit. Let me, um, let me jump over and fix that. I didn't realize that my head would be in the way. Let me just go ahead and put myself center over here. Okay, let's get back to business. Okay, so now I'm not covering the display anymore. So at the bottom right, you of course, you will see uh, your health, your stomach. Your stomach is, is empty. You need food like now. Fortunately, the plane still has some meals here for you to eat. And as you can see, as you eat, your stomach becomes full. It stops flashing red, and um, you're in better shape. Now, you keep hearing some scribbling notes at the bottom. If you look down in the bottom left, it says, New animal discovered. Axe can be used to cut down trees. You guys need to keep an ear out for that little scribble sound because it means that they're trying to tell you something. 
So we're going to go ahead and clear this plane out of anything we can possibly use. Now there's food right there, but you can see I'm not hungry, so let's not waste it. Booze. A plane passenger manifest, right? Inside here there's more booze. Lots of booze on this flight. Some cans of soda. Some pills. Uh, let's see what else is on here before we need to run off. More drink. See that? New animal, new item on your to-do list. Okay, so before we run off here, there's another pill. Before we get off the plane, let's go back here real quick and go back over a few more of those points that you see down in the uh, bottom right. You can see um, my, my water level is okay. You can see my health is improving. The red bar on the left side of that circle is improving. Outs the outside ring of that is actually your armor level, of which, I, of course, I have none. Um, but we will, we will fix that in time. Pretty cool, right? That bird just sort of lands on your hand sometimes. That's because you're covered in blood, by the way. It's not because he's particularly friendly. Uh, <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the survival guide by pressing up on the D-pad. You get to open that book that you were giving your kid. And you can see there are flashing tabs along the upper uh, tab area of the book that's telling you there's something you should probably pay attention in that area. Using your bumper buttons, you can scroll through your book. We're going to just nip right on over here. Here's our to-do list. Right now it says, find Timmy, set up a camp, find the missing plane passengers. Right? That's that's what they're going to give you. And that's it. I mean, they're going to give you, they're going to tell you what you need to do, but not necessarily how to do it. We'll nip over here and you'll see that as we're running around, we are finding animals and plant life. And notes will appear here. You definitely want to check out the notes from time to time. Okay, so basics of survival, food, shelter, water, whatever, right? Um, so we need to start thinking about that now. Now, it's daytime right now. There is a night cycle, and at night things are particularly more precarious in the forest. You will probably want to sleep at night until you get your bearings on the game, or at least understand how to survive. You can jump, you can crouch and hide, right, to sort of make yourself invisible. Um, of course, you can swing your axe. Uh, there's a whole bunch of other things we'll get to over time. This is your inventory screen. And on your inventory screen, you have the items that you have collected. And this, by the way, this will get very, very, very full. Um, each one of these items, as you hover over it, like left trigger, I can drink it, which would fill some of my liquid up. And also re uh, give me back some of my stamina as well. Um, you can also drink booze, but you'll also notice it says combine, where we didn't have anything with the soda. It just says drink, but combine. So let's do that. The item is put into your crafting area, and this little gear appears. And if you hover over the gear, you don't have to go and uh, unlock blueprints or anything. It'll tell you exactly what you can make with that given item. So that item with some cloth makes a Molotov. If you want to increase the damage of a weapon, you can use some sap and this, mal and this um, booze on uh, an item incendiary arrows, upgraded spears, explosives, right? So there's all sorts of good things you can do with this other than just drink it. And if you hover over certain other items, like, ah, well, we can do this. Well, we can make a burning weapon. We can make a poisoned weapon out of it. We can make our weapon faster, do more damage. Uh, all sorts of possibilities that can be done. You just have to know that that's what you're looking for. Meds restore health, right? Your survival guide. Your backpack lets you do quick assignments. We may look at that later. And your passenger manifest. Where the hell did everybody go? This neat little list will actually start um, checking off as you find the people that uh, perished on the plane, presumably, allegedly. Okay, so we've got enough to get busy. The first thing we need, of course, is shelter. Um, let me go ahead and put my axe back on here. Because this is what you got for now. So the first thing we need to do is we need to set up a save, a method of saving, right? Because there's no way to save the game right now. So we're going to pick up a bunch of sticks, a bunch of rocks. We're going to chop down these small trees and get more sticks because there's a lot of sticks going on that we need. Uh, there's something we can eat there. Now, we don't know if that's healthy for us or not. In some cases, you just have to eat it and see if he starts gagging. He did not, but it does say that a new plant was discovered. So that's something we can safely eat. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get some sticks. We're going to get some leaves by knocking down these big bushes. All right, we need all this sort of stuff. Okay, I can't carry any more sticks, so we're full. So for, to get a safe spot, you need a shelter. Uh, and shelters come in multiple types. The temporary shelter is something that will fall apart after the first night you sleep in it. Um, there's a hunting shelter, which does not give you a save point. And then the other items give you 
uh, opportunities to save. The temporary shelter is the fastest, quickest thing you can make that will allow you to save the game. So in this case, we can decide how we want to place it, how it looks, where we want to place it, and then we'll drop it down. Now it'll tell you, notice in the bottom left, it tells you gather sticks, gather leaves. This is how many you have, this is how many you need. It also keeps an outline of this item. No matter how far away that you run away from it, there will still be that little tiny yellow hammer there telling you that that's where it is. Look, there's some other stuff we can gather. We might as well gather. We'll get to the suitcases in a minute. Let's see if we can go ahead, add items. Okay, we need more leaves and more sticks. All right, let's get some leaves. There's usually sticks all over the place. Now, we can't hang out here for too long because we don't know how safe it is. But I want a shelter built right away so that we have some place to save. Uh, I need more leaves, more leaves. Okay, I got enough leaves. How's my sticks? I got enough sticks. Let's go back. Look, there's a deer. We'll kill him later. Okay, so now we have a temporary shelter. We can now save. And you'll also notice that a little tiny uh, house appears. So you can actually change the colors to help you out. So I'm going to make my temporary shelters yellow and my good shelters or my long-term shelters green. So yellow is good for now. We're going to go ahead and save. i got a multitude of save spots here. I'm just going to over-save slot three. Okay, now I've at least got a save spot. You'll also notice there's a little moon there. That is allowing you to sleep through the night. Now it's too early in the day to sleep, so we can't sleep yet. Now we've got a save spot. We can actually start doing a little running around. Now, obviously, now that we have a, a waypoint, right, we have a waypoint, which is our little house, we can actually start moving away from the plane a little bit. What we're wanting to do is see where we are on the island. Um, the island itself doesn't change the map, so once you understand where everything is on the map, every subsequent play of the map will be the same. There's nothing procedurally generated here. However, where you crash land changes at the beginning of every game to a random location. So what we're going to do is we're going to run around the plane just a little bit, keep it in sight, and see if we can see kind of where we are. And uh, what we're looking for are little effigies, bad guy effigies. The, the, there's one right down there. You see them? There's a whole bunch of nasty effigies right down there. Those little guys right there mean that this we are nearby some place where the enemies are likely to be at any given time. We do not want to stay here. This is not where we want to build a base. This is not what we want to call our central home place. Now, we do have, um, we do have the ability to build wherever we want. We don't have to build near the plane. It seems like a great idea um, to use the natural barrier of the plane to, to build a base. But listen, we're, we're way too close. So what we're going to do is we're going to harvest everything that we can. If you look down at the suitcase and hold down your uh, trigger, it will open the suitcase and you can grab the stuff inside. Now, it seems like they're giving you a lot of stuff. I mean, there's a lot of suitcases here. You're going to get a lot of chocolate bars, a lot of cloth. You're going to get a lot of meds, right? Um, and Listen, for a while, you're not going to be self-sufficient. So these suitcases are life for a while. You don't need the tennis balls. But do pick up sticks, rocks, anything you can get a hold of in that vein. And again, open up every suitcase that you can in the beginning. Tape is very valuable. It's one of those weird commodities you don't think you're going to need until later. And it's like, oh, crap, I don't have enough tape. And that's not something you can craft as far as I know. So you have to find it. Okay, so we're going to, let's see, we have any more suitcase stuff here? We got some more of this. Uh, some more sticks. There's a lot of, um, it's interesting, there's a lot of uh, plant stuff here, right? So chicory. Chicory is used to craft uh, different types of consumables. So we're going to grab it while we're here. The island offers different types of plants and herbs, depending on where on the island that you are. So we want to gather what we can while we're here, because we are obviously not going to stay. We're too close to the bad guys. Now, again, it's it's telling you at the bottom, hey, you open, need to open up the survival book. Open up the survival book. Open up the survival book. And you will see that it's constantly trying to give us uh, more help to uh, figure out what to do. So let's go ahead and take a look. Now, look at our inventory. Wow, we've got a lot of stuff going on here. we got rocks. we got food. we got some water. we got booze. we got cloth, right? Um, cool. So what can we make out of cloth? Cloth has to be versatile, right? As it turns out, you can make just about anything from cloth. But rope is something we definitely will want. So if we combine seven cloth, we can make a rope. Sweet. All right, so now we have a rope. What can we craft with a rope? Ooh. Wow, you can craft a lot of cool stuff, including a bow. That sounds useful to me, right? So we're going to go ahead for now. What we are going to do is make a primitive spear out of two sticks. 
This is actually a very nice starting weapon for now. We will make more stuff later. The other thing you might want to do is create an axe. So we do have this little plain axe, which by the way, can't be destroyed. Or you can't, I mean, you never really lose it. You've always got it. Um, but this is really good for chopping down trees, of which you are going to be doing a lot. So let's go ahead and keep that in our inventory as well. Okay, so we know we're not going to stay here. We're going to get the couple more of these suitcases, then we're going to head on out the door. Now, we know there was effigies in the one direction that we were going, so we're not going to go that way. Uh, unlikely that these guys will attack during the day, especially on day one. What do I mean by day one? Well, it's day one on the island. When night comes and the next day rises, it'll be day two. This game does become progressively harder the longer that you're in the game. So on day one, the enemies are pretty docile. They are not as likely to destroy you. They're not as likely to come in waves, right? So you want to make use of these early days to get as much done as you can. I'm going to see if I can pop that guy with the spear here. <coughs> Got him. Okay. So I killed my first deer. I, get, I retrieve my spear, by the way. And then I can harvest his skin. And I can harvest his meat. And then you can harvest his head as a trophy. We don't really need any trophies right now. Now, we do have candy bars, we have juice, or orange uh, orange soda, right? We have some mushrooms running around, but those aren't going to sustain us. What we now have is a whole bunch of this raw meat. This meat will go bad if you don't do something with it. Either start drying it or cooking it. So, we're... I'm thinking about cooking some, but I don't really don't want to do it here. So, let's run back over here. I believe we went to the tail of the plane. Use the plane as a waypoint until you find a compass and a map, which you will get later. Uh, okay, so that was those guys over there. I am going to choose... Oh, there's another deer down there. I'm going to go the opposite direction of the effigies and take a stab at it. Now, I have a pretty good idea where on the island I am because I've played this game a lot. You won't have any probably any clue where you're at. Um, however, the fact that there were effigies within eyesight of the plane, bad juju. So we're just going to kind of head the opposite direction. You're probably saying, where's my map? Where's, you know, where are my waypoints? I'm used to being spoon-fed when I play these kind of games. Where's my next objective, right? Where's my little compass thing at the top? No, 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 no. This is a survival game, my friends. You're not going to give be given anything up front. You're going to need to earn it. Oh, oh, see, that's a village over there. That's bad. We do not want to be over there either. So let's go the opposite direction. So we know that roughly that direction are bad guys. That direction are bad guys. Let's pick a completely different direction. Let's go this way. See what we can find. Oh, is that water? Is that the ocean? Ah, okay. So let's take a look at what we have here. Okay, so there's definitely a beach. It looks like we could get down there if we wanted to. Um, not a lot going on down there, though. It looks like there's a wrecked boat out there. The beach is nice because you can kind of see, but it's not some place where you're going to want to build. Oh, there's another... Oh, I'm not going to get him this time. So let's go ahead and follow the water line a little bit, um, which is kind of nice because we have an opportunity to see what's out in the water. There is stuff out in the water that you're going to want to pay attention to. And let's see here. So I kind of know where we're at, but right now I'm looking around. The force is very dense, but I'm not seeing any effigies. I'm not seeing any bad guys. This probably wouldn't be a bad place to start building. There's plenty of trees for logs. You're going to need a lot of those. We can use um, the side of the mountain here. They can't really climb up mountains, the bad guys. So we could, like, really sort of build right, kind of right here. And use the back side of this cliff as sort of a natural barrier. And we could put a tree house right up in here in this tree. So let's get some food going first. If we know we're going to put down some roots here, let's get a fire started. Let's uh, pan our way through all the tabs, get to our fire, drop it down, build, and light it with our lighter. Okay, fantastic. So we're going to grab some food here. So we have raw meat, we'll equip it, and then at that point we can just throw it all into the fire. So there's now it says I have three, two, one, and I've used them all. Now, you might be tempted to cook all the meat. That would probably be a good idea, but you'll never eat it before it goes bad, right? It'll eventually burn. So, you don't want to cook it all at once. Instead, what we really need is a drying rack. But, nighttime will eventually come. 
So what we need to start thinking about is getting that uh, shelter set up. We, what we want is some place we can save and some place that will protect us. Yes, feathers are good. Kill any birds that are stupid enough to land in front of you. Get their meat. Uh, it's all it's all good. Oh, there's more mushrooms. Will this hurt me? Nope. Good mushrooms. Sweet. Even better. Okay, so let's go ahead and see if we can start building a tree house right here on this. I don't think this one's big enough to build the tree house. But let's try it anyway. Okay, alpine tree house. Can we build it here? No. How about uh, on this one? Yes. So let's position our tree house to have a rope sort of pointing towards where we may be running from, and we'll place it. So we need rope, which we have none. We need lots of sticks and lots of logs. So we need to get busy. As you can see, as I'm putting stuff up, it is filling up the list. Time to bust out that axe I told you we were going to need. Start chopping them down. Now, depending on how good of an axe you have is how long this will take. Now, you'll also notice that on the right-hand side, you'll see that I'm using stamina as I chop. Now, the more hungry you are, the more cold you are, the more anything that you are will cause your stamina to either deplete faster and or fill up slower. Like right now, it's filling up pretty well when I'm not chopping, but I've got a full belly and, uh, you know, I'm good with water. It's I'm not sick or dying or covered in blood. Well, I am covered in blood, but I'm not covered so much that I might get infected by it. So we're going to chop down a bunch of these trees. So what did I say we needed to start with this game off with? Food, water, and shelter, right? So we've got a supply of consumable food, but it's not something that will continue to generate, right? I mean, once those candy bars are gone, they're gone. Um, so we, we know we can hunt meat, so that's a sustainable sort of form of food. If we can, There's apparently plenty of deer running around here, so that's good. We've seen several of them already. Um, so we got food here. What we don't have right now is a source of water. So we're going to have to look for that next. And we're building our shelter. So we're getting the primary stuff. We've already built a weapon. It's a weak spear, which is, just as the name says, well, it's weak. Um, so let's go ahead and start. Uh, you can only carry two logs at a time. You can build a sled to help you move more. But frankly, we don't really need a sled when there's so many trees this close. Go two at a time. You can run. I recommend that you map the run buttons to the back paddles of the Steam Deck or your controller. Uh, just pushing it on the analog stick while you're trying to run and dodge and all that stuff, not probably a good plan. So why did I choose the Alpine Treehouse? Why didn't I choose a log cabin? Why didn't I choose another temporary shelter, right? What, why did I make that decision? Well, first off, it's up in the tree. Uh, early on in the game, the natives can't climb trees. Now, they eventually will climb trees next to it and jump over there. But quite frankly, um, can I get that guy? No, nope, missed him. Quite frankly, it's safer up in the tree. <laughs> so being up high is good. It also gives us a save point, a permanent save point that won't um, fall apart after the first time we sleep, right? That other one that we made over by the plane. Now, see, notice how my, my hammer or my axe just started kind of going wonky like that. That means I'm low on stamina. So I look down at my stamina. It's like, yeah, okay, I'm low on stamina. Let's go ahead and chop, chop, and chop. Will sound uh, attract bad guys? The answer apparently is yes. But again, we are early on in the game. And we are hopefully well away from the bad guys. Now, I had meat on the, on the flame over here. And I'm afraid that I've probably already missed my opportunity. There's some still here, but it's burned. See? Burned meat does not give you nearly as much health as fresh cooked meat. Fortunately, I happen to have a lot of it, so we're in good shape. All right, so we also are going to take down some of these trees that are nearby the Alpine treehouse, obviously, because we don't want them climbing them later and doing things to us. So my water start, my, my thirst level is getting increased. As you can also see, I'm being prompted at the bottom left. Thirsty, uh, find clear water to drink. So we're going to need to pay attention to that while we continue to chop down trees and gather sticks so what happens if you run out what happens if you run out of water what happens if you run out of food uh you'll eventually die um it's nowhere near as as uh, uh 
as terrible as some other survival games. They really don't. I mean, they, they want to penalize you, but they don't want to penalize you. Um, they want you to keep an eye on it, but it's not like a life or death situation immediately. You have some time. But it does affect your ability to uh, regenerate stamina and other stuff. Okay, so guess what time it is? It's dusk. Um, now, the fact that we're nowhere near effigies, and I haven't seen a bad guy yet since we started this game, means I'm probably okay to continue working. Now, of course, you can't see anything. That's what you have this little lighter for. Unfortunately, the lighter doesn't do much. I mean, it works, but listen, uh, middle of the dark, in the middle of the night, it's not going to help you too much. You can set up a, a bonfire. You can set up little torches. There's all sorts of ways that you can improve that situation. Um, but honestly, trying to build and cut at night is kind of a pain. So um, the first couple of days are pretty free and easy. Uh, you can probably sleep. I need 11 more. I should be able to finish this treehouse and I want the protection right as night comes and they decide to get a little more interested in maybe, maybe what's going on over here and they come and explore I want to be able to jump up to that treehouse and you know bid them adieu so we're gonna keep chopping I do need rope though and as you may have remember you may remember I used the rope to build this axe and I probably don't have enough cloth to finish this which is going to be a problem let's see what we got here Oh, I got 19 cloth. Never mind. We got rope. Perfect. All right. Let's go ahead and put the rope up there. So now we're down to sticks and logs. And obviously, you can't see jack or squat. There's more logs over here. Uh, oh, there's a deer, too. I probably shouldn't waste the opportunity, huh? Oops. Ah, he's running. Wait, 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 wait. Hang on. All right. Guys, stunned him. Probably be able to finish him off here before he can get away. Listen, it's you or me, buddy. Sorry, it's going to be me this time. See how this weak spear doesn't do much damage here? It's taking a long time. Fortunately, he's not getting away. That would not normally happen. Usually he'd run, so we, we consider ourselves lucky. And I got more meat, which is great. This time I'm not going to waste it. Oh, it's so dark I can't see anything. Well, look for where your building stuff is. So now I know where my waypoint is. My fire uh, went out. This happens. I'm going to go ahead and eat this crappy food off of here. I know you guys can't see anything. I apologize. Alright, and I definitely need water. It's time to uh, drink one of those sodas. Alright, perfect. Now, I'm not going to cook the meat. Um, well, I should probably cook some meat. Alright, put one on there to cook. And what can I do with this deer skin? There's got to be something we could do with that. Why? Right? Water skin, spear bag, and a warm suit. So that's cool. All right, so I'm cooking. Um, I need, what do I need? I need sticks, and I need logs still. So, man, you just can't see anything out here at night. It's bad. Yeah, we might just pack it up and get fresh, fresh start in the morning. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get that meat, though. Cause I, oh, wait a minute. Here's a couple logs. Is there another one down here? Probably shouldn't work through the night. That's Use that as a general rule until you feel really comfortable. Alright, so if I do want to sleep, though, I'm going to have to build a temporary shelter or go back to my other one. Because this shelter is not going to get done. Alright, well, I've got some more logs here. Let me see if we can tidy this guy up. Boy, that lighter just does not want to stay lit. Alright, let's chop this guy down, I guess. Make sure he doesn't, make sure he doesn't fall and hit anything important. Okay. So let's chop it up. Now again, you'll notice I have not been molested by any bad guys yet. They have not showed up. Um, a lot of people have said, "Oh man, I got you know I got raided right away." It's because you were too close to their base, dude. They're coming after you. So the biggest clue I could give you in this video is don't build anywhere near their base. Okay, I need some sticks. Those are a little harder to find at night, though. Uh, let me see if I can find a couple of little trees to chop down. Some sticks. A little over there. Some rocks. Don't need rocks. I do need more sticks, though. You do take fall damage in this game. So if uh, you decide to go running around at night blindly, uh, it's not impossible for you to fall off the edge of a cliff. Right? The one that's right behind my base right now that I'm building? Yeah, I would die if I fell off that edge. So we 
probably want to not be running around in the dark either. Now, there are better forms of lighting other than this stupid... This stupid lighter, and we... Oh, I need one more stick. Damn it, I thought I had enough. I was wrong. There we go. Now we can finish, we can save, we can sleep, and then we can get some light going on here. Done. Now we can crawl up here. The first few days, you're really, really safe up here. Even if there were guys running around down there, they're not going to come up and get you. Go to the back corner. We're going to save. I'm going to save in slot three, where I saved before. And I'm going to sleep. If you're playing multiplayer, all players have to agree to sleep at the same time. That's a little something that the game may not really reveal to you. Now, you notice I slept. Now I'm hungry and thirsty. It's like, thanks. Okay, daytime again. Yes, plenty of time to get stuff done. Okay, I'm going to eat what was in there, which is already burned and spoiled. But I do have some meat that's hopefully still good in my inventory. It's still fresh. Perfect. Let's get some meat on there. Now, cooking meat sucks because it burns or it, 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 it goes bad. So what we're going to do is we're going to build ourselves a drying rack. This is one of those sort of things that you really should build early on once you have someplace safe. Oops, I went the wrong way. You hear the wind going on back there? Where's that rack at? There it is. Oh, come on. There we go. All right, so again, you can position it kind of the way you want it. Oh, I just trashed my fire. Oh, well, that's okay. Oh, I think it went it went dead on its own. Okay, paste it, and we need five. Uh, dead fire. Okay, so we need five sticks. It's not the end of the world we can actually see right now. We have some logs that I still have cut down. And I need that food, so we need that fire started back up. Okay, more sticks. More leaves. You'll have an abundance of leaves at some point, but kind of start off a little destitute. Any more sticks? Damn, I only got two sticks. Weak. All right, more sticks. More sticks. I got five. Good. Let's get that rack up. The drying rack doesn't give you immediate food, but the food stays good forever. Right? So now you can see I can actually put meat on here. And I believe I have some small meat that I could also put on here. It's a little bit funky sometimes trying to get the icon to come up. Maybe I can't put the small meat on here. I thought you could, but maybe it's only larger meat. That's fine. We'll cook this one. Even better. Let's get a fire going. Ugh. You know, it sucks when you're always out of sticks. You know what I'm saying? You're always like out of sticks. More sticks, more sticks. Fortunately, sticks kind of regenerate like rocks. So, oops, squirrel. Oh, I got him too. Look at that. Some small game meat. Listen, you want to avoid having to eat the bad guys. Listen, I know they're cannibals, so why would you feel bad about eating them? Um, but, you know, listen. You don't need to partake of the flesh of whatever the hell those things are when you can actually, you know, live off the land, if you will. All right, so let's get that fire finished. Get some more food on the table here. All right. Go ahead and get, we'll go ahead and put both of those on here because they're small. And unfortunately, we're going to have to drink some more of our very precious uh, soda because we still don't have a source of water. Well, there's a lot of water down there, but we can't really drink it, right? So what we need to do is find a source of fresh water. So much like every other sort of survival game we're going to need to explore a little bit so i'm going to go so here's our our home here you know what? let me go up here and change the color because this is not a temporary shelter right it is a good shelter so let's go in here and change the color to green so we know that that's my primary you're halfway across the map you need to know which home to run to you know what i'm saying okay so let's go over here we're going to go ahead and eat this meat before it burns it looks like i might still not have gotten to it fast enough Drying racks are the best. The This is like temporary food, you know, using the fire. And these guys are still drying. They'll turn to a darker color when they're done. Oh, dear. Let's not pass up the opportunity. I don't think I can hit him, throw it this far and get it. Let's try it. Nope. 
think I can get lucky. Ah, stunned him. Nice. He's going to end up running. No, nope, look at this. He's stunned enough I can finish him off. Get my spear. Don't forget to pick up your spear. All right, more more hide, more meat. Let's get it on the let's go ahead and get it on the rack. There's no reason to really carry it unless we're going out exploring, you know what I mean? So let's get it on the rack and make it make it work for us in the future. All right. So between our home here and my temporary shelter, we've got some space. Let's explore that space. So we're just going to run through here. We're looking what we're looking for now is a water source, hopefully somewhere close to our base. Uh, okay. Oh, there's the plane. So we're not that far away, but we're definitely in the opposite direction of the effigies, which kept us fairly safe. So I'm going to go over this direction, see if I can find a little pool of water. Not finding anything really close. So I'm going to double back and go... Ooh, cliff. Good thing to note. Uh, I'm not seeing a water source here. So let's go the other way, right? So we can kind of use our two waypoints to triangulate. So I want to head this way between the two of them and see if we can find water going this way. We're on day two. No enemies have been seen yet. Oh, what's down here? Oh, that looks good. What's over here? What's this? Oh, that's the plane. Damn it. It's getting all excited. Thought we had some more suitcases to open. Boy, there's just... Ooh. Marigold. We'll definitely collect that. And rocks. Still no water. That's... That kind of sucks. Uh, I would hope. I was hoping we'd have a water source a little closer to our main base. Gather sticks while we can, right? All right. So no water here. Well, that's unfortunate. Okay. So in that case, what's next? We've got a shelter. We've got food on the rack. We we kind of have some water. That's our next big priority. And, oh, what's, what's this? A can of soda. Sweet. So our next priority is to what? Weapons and armor, right? Well, we don't really have the means to make anything better than what we have. And we don't have the means to make any sort of armor yet. So it's time to do the third thing, which is to explore. So we're going to stay along the coastline here and see if anything interesting shows up. How far do you go away from your base, right? How far do you go? Totally up to you. Um, as the day wanes on, you probably want to be closer to your base when it gets dark, right? So we're going to explore for a few minutes and see just how far this water line extends. See if we can get some sort of visuals on something. Anything that looks interesting. Oh, something over going on over there. Let's get a closer look. So right now we're doing okay. We got food. We got water. We're more or less self-sufficient. Ooh, what's that? Oh, wait. Listen. What's that sound? Oh, I hear him. Do you hear him? They're here somewhere. Hear that nasty little chuckling creepiness in the background? Let's see if they're over here on the beach. I don't see them. I don't like. I don't like not knowing where they're at. Man, they're close though. I can hear them. Where are you? Maybe they are down. In the, no, they're not down there. Where are they? Okay, this big tree looks a lot different than the other trees. That's a good landmark, right? We'll keep an eye on that. I don't like not knowing where these guys are, and I don't know how many of them there are either. So we're going to proceed slowly. No running. That boat out in the middle of the water, though, that looks interesting. That's something we should probably check out. Still not seeing them. And I heard them somewhere, damn it. I just don't want to get waylaid by him. So we got some daylight left here. Let's go ahead and make our way down. Okay, remember, you can take falling damage, so you got to be careful traversing these cliffs. And remember, we got to find a way to get back up, too, should we need it. Okay, so here we are on the beach. This is sort of a new place for us. There's some small rocks on the beach. Listen, anything you can pick up is probably usable for something keeping an eye out. I heard those guys running around. There's a big tree off in the distance, too. That looks like a good waypoint. The forest ends up looking a lot alike unless you know where the waypoints are and how to use them. So I'm thinking that boat looks pretty good. We've got some daylight left. Let's, uh, let's go check it out. Oh, there's a turtle. 
turtles are most useful. We need to get one of them. If you don't get them quick, they go into their shell and you won't get them, but it looks like I stunned him well. I get his shell, and I get turtle meat, both of which are fantastic. So let's get that shell. You can only carry one at a time, so killing those other turtles won't do us any good. But we do have a shell now. Hmm. You can equip it to use it as a sled, but you can't combine it with anything. Hmm. We'll get back to that later. Let's, in the meantime, go check this boat out. It's pretty close. I'm not too worried about swimming. You can swim. I will warn you that all waters are not friendly. So, keep that in mind. Now, I don't remember seeing any of the enemies swim after you. So, you might think to yourself, hey... Boat in the middle of the water, good place to be maybe at night, maybe if you need to escape off the beach, you run out to this boat, and if there's any bad guys running around, they probably can't get you out here. So I just picked something up. It is a yacht magazine. Not sure if that has any interest. Oh, something just popped up in the survival book, though. What did it say? Our checklist... Find the missing plane pad. Oh, find and cook food, set up a camp. So what is it that it's trying to tell us? Hmm, something. That's all right. Well, we'll figure it out. I happen to know that there's rope up here. And since rope is such a high desired commodity, let's get it while we can. All right, now let's go look inside this boat. Ooh, look at this. Money, 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 money. Don't know what that's for yet, but I'm sure it's useful if I can pick it up. What's this? My missing kid, huh? Okay. Ooh. A cassette player. Uh, what do we got here? Restores energy. And you've got cassettes to go in there. Neat. Probably won't monkey with that right now, but it's kind of fun. Oh, what's this? Jeez. Do you see that? Do you see what that looks like? That looks like Terror Incognito right there. And we just had something opened up under our notes, too. Eh, it's telling us to do something, but it's not real clear. Ah, there it is in our notes. Yeah. Yeah, that's not something you want to run into. Okay, so let's go ahead and raid the rest of this boat. Ooh, air canisters. That means we might get to go scuba diving later. Woo! What's this? Some sort of a clue. Just down here. Something we can't get to. Another mystery of the force. It's like the Curse of Oak Island. Everything you find leads to more questions. Ah, nice! A save and a sleep spot. Well, that made this boat even more valuable because you could spend the night on there and sleep. Okay, I think I have got all the riches that this boat can offer. Before we go hightailing it back in the water, let's look around. We've probably done enough exploring for one day. So I'm going to go ahead and swim back to the shore. Go back to my permanent base. Get a little food on board. We still have to find some water, though. Now, I've got a turtle shell, which I'm going to give you as a clue as to how to help you get some fresh water. We'll do that when we get back to the base. This is a good time to promote the concept of taking a look at your survival book. So I'm going to hide back here. I'm going to look at my survival book. And as you start panning through the different things that you can build... Oops, sorry. Um, you can get an idea of what you need to start collecting or what you need to start thinking about or what something does. Right? So we're kind of looking for a shell. There's that turtle shell we just picked up. We need one of those and some sticks, and we can make a water collector. Hmm. So it's probably worth taking a minute to roll through, okay, sticks and logs, sticks and logs, sticks and logs, blah, blah, blah. But what we're looking for are unusual things. Bones. Oh, where would one get bones? Um, stick markers. You will use a lot of these. <laughs> Tree sap collector. Hmm. We did talk a little bit about sap earlier. So yeah, there's all sorts of good stuff that we can find and build. 
So we need to we need to start thinking about that while we're running around gathering stuff. Cone flower. Ooh. Blueberries. New plant discovered. I didn't start gagging when I ate them, so they're safe to eat. Make a note. Blueberries equal safe. I will tell you, white berries are probably not your friend. That doesn't mean they're useless, though. I'll give you that clue. What's that? Aloe. You can, listen, you can never have enough aloe. Always pick that up when you see it. Another little pro tip. Okay. We're heading back to our base. We're running. My stamina is good. My food level is good. My water level is good. You'll also notice we still haven't run across any fresh water. That bo oh, wait. Nope, that's not fresh water. Dang it. Frickin' Mirage got me. Okay. Ooh, what's that? Squirrel. Oh, rabbit! Dead rabbit! New fur. More meat. Good God, let's eat. Okay, so let's take a look at that rabbit fur. Combine. Ooh, pouch. What can we put in the pouch? Rock bag, fur boots, stick bag. Dude, with how many sticks we need, a stick bag sounds like the right thing to do. I wonder if I should use some of my valuable rope. Wait, 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 wait. What was that one now? What was that recipe? Stick bag. Three, two... Nice. Okay. So now I've got a stick bag. Nice. Okay. Well, holds extra sticks. You can't go wrong with that. We need to get that meat cooking, though, soon. Where'd my waypoint go? There it is. Okay. Yeah, we got to get the meat on the dryer or we need to cook it. We don't want it to go bad. Still, by the way, no water. Oh, effigies. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Bad news over there. Let's stay clear. The less they know of that we're even out here, the less likely they are to come and invade or explore to see what's going on. Now, you'll notice, how long have we been playing this game? What's my record time? 45 minutes. And at this point in time... I've seen not one native. It's because we were smart and got out of their territory. Alright. Got some rabbit on there. And let's go ahead and get a fire going. I'll put some of the meat on there. It's all still fresh. We're in good shape. Come on, start that fire. Alright. Well, some of this meat looks like it's ready. So I'm going to grab a piece of the dry meat and put some of the other meat up. Oh, nope. Still... Still not ripe. All right, that's all right. We'll cook it. I'm gonna go ahead and throw both of them on there. I have no room in the rack. I can make another drying rack, right? It's probably a smart move. Keep plenty of food on hand. I'm really concerned about the water, though. So let's talk about that water collector. Let's go back to our thing. Our survival guide. Where was that water collector? Oh, there it is. All right, so let's put this somewhere... I don't know. Somewhere where it can collect rainwater, I would suppose. No? I don't want it to be weird angled. Shell. Six. Sweet! So, we're just assuming when it rains, which it will, that we're going to get some fresh water in here. That's something. That's it's more than we had before in terms of gathering water. Alright. So, what do we do now? Well, obviously we have a whole big island to explore. Um, we're self-sufficient on food, we're hunting, we're gathering, we have the ability to start building a fortress. Maybe we should start doing that. Let's get some defenses up. we got plenty of trees here, so defensible walls, that's custom walls, we need something with a little more, it says something more about defense, no? Let's see, lots of traps, look at that, ooh, defensive spikes, that looks like fun. Defensive walls, that sounds like a good spot, a good thing to start here. So what we'll do is, we're going to use this as a natural barrier. Let's kind of take a look here. I'm going to keep this one tight. You'll build these colossal bases over time. But um, right now, I just need something to keep the camp safe. So I'm going to go ahead and build it to here. Next wall to here. And then drop it. Oops. Sometimes the UI takes a little bit of getting used to, especially building these weird walls. Always takes me a minute or two to kind of get back to it. Because I need to make a doorway, right? That's why I wasn't just going to make a big box of walls. Okay, so we'll make it right out to about here. 
Okay, so now we've got the one wall. I'm going to build a door. Get a door in here somewhere, no? There we go. Wall with door. I like that. Rotate it to kind of make it fit. There's no snapping to the grid here, so sometimes if you want to line it up, you want to kind of get a good visual on what you're doing. There we go. And then we'll just plug it right in here. Now we're ready to go ahead and finish the wall. Now that we've got a door. All right, so we'll go ahead and, let's see. We'll go ahead and make this, we'll start it here. Take it over to about here. We'll run it down around this rock. Oop, something's blocking it, doesn't like that. Oh, doesn't want to block around that rock at all. We'll just go around it, let's see here. Nice. I snap it to... And what's in the way? Stumps or something. That's alright. I don't want to fall off the ledge either. Uh, okay. Good enough. Good enough for uh, government work, right? So now we need to start uh, building this thing. One thing you need to know about building is until the, the uh, item is completely built, you can still walk through it. So that means build like back to front. So if you were going to, if I, I mean, I could put them right here, right? But why not go back here and dump them back here? Once this wall's built, I can't go through it. So if you were to build this wall first, you couldn't walk through it and then you'd have to go around it. So just a, a few moments of extra planning can save you some save you some time. Obviously, there's a lot to build here, and we're probably not going to get it all done before nightfall. And you have to decide whether you want to work through the night or not. So if we were smart, we'd be chopping down a bunch of trees right now, and then using the night time to um, bring them back. You have some control over these trees, by the way, of how they fall. Um, but falling trees are sometimes kind of random, and you could end up destroying something you've built. I'm running I'm running low on stamina here. This is killing me. It's starting to get dark quick too. I need 91 logs for what I'm doing. So this is obviously going to be a work in progress for a while. All right. Timber. Tree sap collected. So we've got some things we can talk about with tree sap. We do need to start thinking about weaponry. We do need to start thinking about armor. Um, and so far we have no options yet for armor. We don't we don't know anything about armor yet. Nothing that we have nothing that we have will can be made into armor, it doesn't seem like. So we are sort of stuck with what we have. We could take a look at weapons, though. All right, let's go ahead and see if we can finish off one of these walls, at least. There we go, there's one. One down, many more to go. This is the sort of part where bringing a buddy in to help you cut down trees and to help haul logs is probably useful. Now that you know what you're doing and sort of how to stay safe and what's going on, this is the time where I would say, yeah, now that you know, have your have your friend who's going to play this with you do the same thing you did. Send them to this video. Have them do go through this sort of process where they um, where they learn the basics. They get, make themselves self sufficient. They've got a little something going on. Then you can bring them in. Have them help you out. You go help them out. Help them build. You help build. There's a nice little gap in there. We may have to cover that. I don't know if a guy can get in there or not. All right, let's take let's uh, let's take a break here. We're probably going to go ahead and sleep, but let's uh, while we're while we're burning the night midnight oil here, let's um let's look at what our weapon options may be. So right now, what we have is a spear. This axe could be used as a weapon. It obviously does damage. This axe works as a as a weapon. So if I were to combine this weak spear, what are my options here? I can make an upgraded spear. I need cloth and bone, of which I have no bone. I killed a lot of animals, still have no bone. So we must get bones somewhere else. So there's really nothing we can do with that. Sticks are the primary 
building block of almost everything. So what can we do with that? Arrows. A crafted club if we had a skull, which we don't. A burning weapon. We can wrap it and maybe put some... Light it on fire. We could do that. Crafted bow. We could do that. We could do a bow. We got that stuff here, right? So let's go ahead and build a bow. All right. Now we need arrows. So I imagine it's probably wood, but what else? Arrows. Feathers. See, I was harvesting feathers earlier, and I don't have enough. A bow without arrows, completely useless. Okay, what else can we do? Oops. Let's get that stick back. What else we got? Um, repair tool, damage, uh, slingshot. Slingshot, we could make one of those. We have tape, but tape is... I've only got one. I don't want to waste that right now. So there's not really much we can do. We need... Looks like we need more stuff before we can do anything. Let's go ahead and save. And we'll sleep. Why is it not letting me sleep? It's not late enough for me to sleep yet. Ooh, feather. Interesting. It's not letting me sleep. That's all right. We'll go and get some work done. Oh, there was another feather. Hang on. I'm not passing up a feather. Wait a minute. We just got two feathers, huh? Right? Wasn't that five that we needed for... Uh... All right. We have a ranged weapon now. Sweet. Sweet. Okay, what about what else can we do with this thing? Crafted bow with light, tape, and a flashlight. Well, we don't have a flashlight. We got tape. Huh? Okay. So, what he may have not mentioned, and I think this is one of the most helpful things. Closer. Is that you can actually make hot keys by combining your backpack with a weapon or other item. That way, you can just hold down the left trigger and then press up or left or right on the D-pad. Yeah, we did talk about this, but I said I was going to get to it later. Yeah, so so we've got, we take our backpack and we can combine it with whatever we want. And then when you actually do the combined action, it'll ask you what button to assign to the hotkey. So in this case, we could make the plain axe, soda, booze, or meds. That's what our hotkeys are set for now. Um... And so let's set the uh, axe to right D-pad, right? Clink. So now, oh, do you hear them? I hear them. They're out screaming. Can I save now? Or can I sleep yet? No. I heard them. I got some arrows. Let's see what other kind of weapons we might be able to make while we're sitting here. Booze. Maltov. Well, we've got cloth. Let's make a couple of these guys. Fire and explosions. Definitely useful in what we're doing. So, we've been almost at this an hour, and we've seen no enemies. We've had no melee. We've had no combat. You're probably figuring that maybe we missed out on something. Why aren't we getting any bad guys here? What's that all about? Are these good mushrooms? I forget. Then I put some stuff on the fire and forgot about it again. Yeah. Any of this actually cooked? No. Let's get some meat cooking. Oh, that, look at that. It's like a drunk Amish freaking barn I'm building right here. Look at that. It's not even lined up right. That's okay. <laughs> It's not an exact science. As long as it keeps the bad guys out, we're okay. Hmm. All right. So I'm kind of torn on what I should be up to right now. And I think a lot of people get this way when they're playing this game. What should I be doing? All right? Should I work through the night or should I not work through the night? Well, it's been pretty quiet over here, so I could work through the night and get some trees chopped down. That sounds pretty good to me. So obviously, until we do more, until we look around some more, until we do more, explore more, we're obviously missing items that are necessary to continue to evolve, such as getting armor or better weapons. There has to be something more out there that we're missing. And it is. Did I just hear a bad guy or was that me grunting? I know it sounds so similar. We're going to keep chopping. 
At this point, I'm about ready to go find somebody and kick their butt so you guys can get some help with understanding how these guys move, how they work, what's the best way to defend against them. I'm about ready to go and just start some, start some crap with these guys. I know what you're thinking. Why would you want to do that? Well, listen, you're going to have to do it eventually. You're going to have to... You're going to have to go up against them, right? You're going to need to be skilled and understand how that works. So you're going to have to fight eventually. Better to do it on your terms than when you're sitting here trying to chop down a tree and they sucker punch you from behind. Which, yes, they will do that. Sometimes more than one of them. And then it's like, what? Come on. Keep myself full on mushrooms. All right, let me uh, see if I can go sleep. The night time is... Not useful, and I'm not even I'm not dumb enough to go hunting them at night. All right, let's sleep. Daytime once again. Now we're ready to go back out. We are on day three, and day three is still pretty light, my friends. Day three is still pretty safe. I've got some dried meat here. It looks like yes. So this is road food. This stuff will fill you up very, very much. And, and it'll stay fresh forever. That way I don't have to consume all these snacks that I've been chewing on. Alright, so let's, uh, where'd that fire go? Man, I cannot keep a fire burning around here to save my life. Hopefully I've got enough sticks and whatnot to get busy with that. Yeah, it could be a little more, it could be easier with a mouse to navigate this book. I don't want to, I don't want to actually go on the run. I need sticks? Come on. Sticks all the time. More sticks, more sticks. Oh, there's a stick there. Okay, I'm going to take this log back on here. Why not? Okay. I don't want to eat my dried meat if I'm not on the road. You know what I mean? So let's get this one piece that's raw. We'll cook it. I'll eat it. Then we'll go. Two should be good. Alright. Cook faster. I am hungry. Guess we don't need that lighter anymore. This tends to get to be part of it. I am starving and I am hungry and thirsty. Starving and thirsty. That's what I meant to say. There we go. Nice and full. Perfect. I'm going to have to use one of my rare sodas here, unfortunately, for my thirst, since I have no water yet. All right. So let's, real quick, let's clean up these logs that I chopped last night. There's still a, a good number of them kicking around. Let's see if we can go ahead and put a little bit more of the fort together in the morning, and then we'll, um, we're going to head out. We're going to go and look at one of their bases and see what's in there. I do it so you don't have to. Alright, so there's a log here. Is that all of them? I thought I had... Oh, there we go. I was going to say, I thought I chopped down a lot more than that. Okay. Alright, there's another wall built. I think we're starting to run out of logs now. They're going, good, we can get some action going on. Trust me, action's not where you want what you want in this game. You want to avoid the action most of the time. Alright, so my stamina is low. I'm letting that kind of charge up. Now, we said... The last time that I headed over to the plane, we said that there were effigies nearby. In fact, we even saw there was a village nearby. So let's head back to our original campsite. Uh, just making sure there was no missed, um, missed luggage around here for me to smack around. Definitely pick up everything that you can, remember? Sticks, sticks, and more sticks. Okay, so let's go and see if we can start some crap. Alright, what's down here? Whatever direction we went in, there was something over here, so... Let's see. No, nope, not that way. Alright, let's head over here. We know off the tail end of the plane were effigies, so we know that there's some nastiness going on down there. Oh, wait, there they are. There's the village, okay. Okay. So I am going to use right now, the best thing I've got right now is the spear. For me, I like the spear. It just, uh, it throws quickly. It, it acts quickly. 
to stab, and it does pretty decent damage. So we're going to go in here nice and slow and take a look. Now, when I say village, you're probably thinking there's kids and, you know, women making food or something. No, 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 no. These are just where they tend to kind of hang out. But they almost always have useful resources. And during the day, it looks like they may be off hunting or something. So we can just keep your ears open. They'll announce themselves. Let's see what we got in here. What's this? Circuit board. Well, there's a new item that we did not have before. Cool. So if we were to pop in here, I probably don't want to do this here, but explosive. Okay, now we're talking. Good. So we've got something to make an explosive. We have a new weapon of, at our disposal. Let's uh, wander a little bit. These effigies, you can knock them down. You'll end up pissing them off, but who cares? They're a good source of stick. Oh, skull too, remember? We needed a skull for something. Oh, ew. Oh, it says drinks. Yes, more drinks. Since we have no fresh water, more drinks. Yay. Ah, wait, wait, what's that? That looks good. Dynamite! Now we've got ourselves a game. Oh, too much drink? Let me drink one real quick, and then I'll pick up another one. Oh, crap! Bad guys! Oh, crap, I knew I wasn't paying attention. They didn't even announce themselves. Holy crap, I almost peed my pants right there, and I'm used to this game. Okay, so running takes stamina, so does fighting. So you have to decide, am I running, or am I fighting? Now, these guys aren't super aggressive. They aren't in here banging my head up right now. They're watching. They're looking to see what I'm up to. I could probably... Oh, here he comes. Now, see, he just crawled up a tree. I don't remember seeing him crawl up a tree on day three, but that's okay. He's watching. He's just seeing what's going on. There's only two of them. I can probably make this work. Especially if they don't both attack me at the same time. I'm going to go sit here and harvest a little bit more while they're making up their mind whether they're going to kill me or not. Ooh, what's that lizard? I want that lizard. All right, we need to kill this guy. This is going to have to happen. We're going to have to go after him eventually. We need to know what it is. Lots of stabbing. You can block with certain weapons by holding the left trigger. This does not block. So we're just going to go at him. When there's one, pretty easy. When there's two, up, oh, good. Is he dead? Sometimes they play possum. Nope, he's dead because it shows I can pick him up. Pick up that corpse. Oh, crap. There's his buddy. Hey, there's water over here too. Sweet. Well, this is a good find. So, he's not really paying that much attention. I'm going to build a fire, and you're going to see why in just a minute. Build a fire. Okay. Where does Buddy go? Well, his buddy's not interested. So, if I can pick this body up, you would think there's something I could do with it, right? What if I chucked him on the fire? Oh, he's burning. Good. There's a lizard over there. Can I get him? Not with that kind of throw, I can't. Oh, stay still. Stay still. Run, you little... Oh, he's stuck. He's stuck. No, 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 no. I want that lizard now. I bet he's useful. Oh, there's the there's his buddy. Oh, hey, a tooth just flew out. We're going to pick that tooth up, too. Don't let anything in this game go to waste. See, these guys are really easy. This way. You don't, you don't want to be too afraid of them unless there's a big number of them. And there's a reason why we want him dead. I'll show you in a minute. Ooh, that was creepy. Tooth. And I can pick him up. I thought I saw another tooth fly off of him somewhere over here. Where'd it go? I want it. Hey, where'd the body go? Bones! Oh, yes, yes, yes. Bones, 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 bones. We love the bones. There's all sorts of good stuff we can make with bones. So, there's your secret. Kill the natives, burn them alive, use their bones. What do we make with bones? Bone armor. Yes. Upgraded spear. Yes. Bone arrows. Yes. Let's take, let's take a look at that upgraded spear, my friends. What else do I need for that? Three bones. Yes. Good. Now we have a much better spear. And we have bones necessary to make armor, which is what I told you was going to be one of our primary things. Food, water, shelter, weapons, armor, and exploring. So we're almost, we've almost unlocked, we, well, we have unlocked the secret of how to get armor. Oh, these tennis balls make me mental. But there's lots more stuff here to harvest. And along when this guy ends up exploding into a pile of bones, boom. 
More bones. Let's take a look at that bone armor. We need protection against these guys. Sweet. Go over to the bone armor and wear it. See that? Just got a little white notch right next to my health. Yes, look at that. Now listen, it's only one set, but it's going to help. The more bone armor we have, the safer we are. So what does that mean? It's time to stop playing the defense game. You've got a nice base. You've got some decent weaponry. You've got a path to armor. You got a you got a you got a good a good area to work with. Uh, you're in good shape. This is really where I should probably leave you to go and explore yourself. There's a, I want to finish this village first, and then I will um will wrap this up. Because I think there's one other thing I wanted to show you in here. There's some more rope. And again, milk these suitcases, my friends. Milk, milk. There's watches. There's a reason for the watch. There's uses for the watch. Stupid tennis balls. More meds. More everything. Look at that poor guy. That poor guy. Oh, wait. We found one of the passengers. 5D. The guy that was sitting in 5D is now hanging in front of us. And, uh, yeah, okay. So now we know what we need to do to find passengers. Look for these poor bastards hanging by their legs. And run up to them and take a look. See if, um... See if they match the passenger manifest, right? Just as a personal note... Oh, dude. Oh, there's a passenger from seat 11B. Tennis player from the looks of it. Maybe that explains all the tennis balls. Oh, flares! Yes! This has been a great base to find. We've got flares. we got dynamite. We unlocked some bone armor. We are looking good. And we found water over here. So let's go ahead. Okay, so let's look at the water. Sometimes there's fish in the water. Mm. Oh, and there is. Look at that. Great. Spear fishing. Get back here. Num, 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 num. We're going to need more drying racks, Captain. You'll also notice now that we have a water spot, we can actually drink from it. I can tell you that there's probably no good clean water in here. Well, let's see what happens. <laughs> right? Yeah. So, listen. Uh, it's not clean water, but at least it's fresh water. So, what we're going to do is we're going to mark this fresh water using what I was talking about earlier, which is a stick marker. You'll use a lot of these, my friends. Get a color system. My color system is blue for water, green for cave entrances, which we haven't found one yet, by the way. Uh, and that's something, obviously, this game, there's an entire cave system going on below you. You cannot play this game without exploring caves, which means you need to find the caves. Unfortunately, um, that requires you do some, some hunting. You're going to, oh, crap, did you see that? There's a whole hunting party over there. Time to go. I'm not even going after three of them. Oh, what's over here? There's another little house over here. Did I get the stuff out of here? I don't think so. There's more goodies over here? Those bad guys are down there. I'm not even worried about this. More flares. Fuel can? Oh my god, what am I going to use a fuel can for? There's fuel in there. Uh, that powers something. Now i got to find out what that stupid thing powers. As I said, everything that you find, almost everything that you do, begs more questions. What is this for? What is that for? What's that picture of? Am I going to fight that thing? What's going on? All of these questions get answered as you play the game. All right, I'm heading back to the base. We're going to wrap this up. It's been over an hour. Most of you are probably long gone by now. Bless you if you've stayed. I will mark this video with key locations so that you guys can see... Um, so you can, when you go to your friend, say, hey, listen, watch how this guy fights the bad guys. That's how it works. Watch how this guy builds this. Watch how he builds that. Watch how he does this. Okay. Hopefully you're watching this on 2X because there's, it's not a, a never-ending cycle of fun here. It's a lot of running around. Let's see, I'm getting exhausted. Holy crap, there's a dude at my base! They came over here, you dirty birdies. 
Well, time to break out the Maltovs. Might as well have a little bit of fun, shall we? Let's light this Maltov and see if uh, we can we can harsh their day. Hey, boys. What are you doing in my home? Now I have to kill both of you. Stay still. Or charge me, either way. Dealer's choice. Yeah, you know what this fire means, don't you? Bad juju for you. Ah, I missed him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Enjoy enjoy your your pleasure, because I'm gonna totally mess you up. See, they're not they're not super aggressive yet. <laughs> burn, you little bastard, burn. I'm gonna get your little buddy over there too. The one that's hanging out inside my cave. My man cave. Oh fine, I'll kill you with a spear. Maybe I'll just knock you back into that fire and set you on fire. See that? See how fast that spear dispatched him? That upgraded spear? Good, good, good. Let's cook her. Cook her alive. That other one's probably burning out here too somewhere. Hopefully, I can still retrieve. Oh, there he is. We need our bones, right? Bones, bones, bones. We are the bone collector now. All right, let's roast him. Nope, oh, I think I missed him. He can still be picked up. Burn, baby, burn. Oh, my fire went out. The other one's still roasting, though. There we go. Now we're cooking. Speaking of which, let's cook some of this meat that I... Oh, wait a minute, let me eat one of those. Oh, I got fish. Look at that. Num, 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 num. Fish, fish, fish. Let's go put them up on the barbie here. Fish, fish, fish. Meat. Good. Any water in our collector? I don't think it rained yet, so no water. Something to eat here. I think that was an old piece of meat that was still there. Gross. Bones, bones, bones. Notice how I didn't get hit, so I still have all my bone armor. More bone armor. Yes. Good. Oh, man, my fire broke. A crappy fire. I need, a, like, a fire pit. That's okay. The job got done. I got bones. More bones. More armor. Wear it. I am becoming a fighting force of extraordinary magnitude. I forge my spirits in the tradition of my ancestors. Okay. This is where I'm going to leave you, my friends. I have given you everything that you need to survive the forest. Your next job is to find your kid. Find the caves. Find the mysteries. Figure out what the hell happened on this island. What's going on? I tr trust me, it's worth it. It's an amazing game. Now you're ready to get your friends on board. Get them into the game. I hope you enjoyed this video, this beginner's guide, showing you everything you need to know to get started. I'm Shane Armonroe. I appreciate your watching. Uh, thanks, everybody, for tuning in and sticking with the whole show. I'm Shane Armonroe, and we will see you next time. Take care.